Section 5.3 deals with converting units within the metric system. And what we're going to do is we're going to deal with units of length. And the key um, length we're going to be working with is M, which stands for the meter, which is the unit of length in the metric system. Um, this is a device which will help you remember um, all the different lengths. King Henry doesn't mind discussing church matters. And notice uh, the, each, the first letter of each word indicates the, the prefix before the letter M, before the, the letter M, which stands for meters. So capital KM is kilometers or kilometers. Kilo is the prefix for thousand. Capital HM, hectometer or hundred meters. DKM, deca, okay, that means 10 meters. M, of course, is the single unit meter. On the right-hand side, notice that we have small lowercase d, c, and m. D stands for deci, meter, which means one-tenth of a meter. Um, c, centi, c stands for centi, which means a hundredth of a, of a meter. And finally, m, millimeter, which stands for a thousandth of a meter. Okay, this is the order that you need to write uh, the different um, metric lengths out and the beautiful thing about the metric set system is that it's based on a power of 10. So that moving hopping from one unit to another involves simply uh, a, a manipulation of the decimal system of the decimal. So for example if I had in the very first example suppose I had one meter and I wanted to change that to uh, millimeters which is all the way to the right Actually, it's how many hops. It's one, two, three hops. And so what I would do is I would start with 1.0. I would identify my decimal point. Okay. And I would, um, since I'm hopping over three, three units to the right, the decimal point would move three units to the right. One unit, two units, three units. And I put the decimal there. And so I'd wind up with 1, 0, 0, 0, 0.0, 0 millimeters, which really is just simply 1,000. So you can really drop this period uh, decimal zero. So this says that one meter is equal to 1,000 millimeters. And notice as we move from left to right, what happens? The one became a thousand. It actually um, got larger. The numbers always get larger as you move from left to right in, in, this, in the way that this uh, chart works. Let's take a look at another example here, one kilometer. And suppose I wanted to find out how many meters I have in one kilometer. Well, it's exactly the same thing. We identify the decimal point or just be aware of where it is. That's 1.0 kilometers. We kind of knew before a kilo means thousands, so it should be a thousand meters. And again, we're hopping over one, two, three places to get from the kilometer, right, all the way over to the meter. So that would really be, again, that would be just as, I, as we thought, 1,000 meters. If I wanted to continue on and find out how many decimeters, right, I can pick up I can actually pick up at right here where I left off a thousand meters, move, hop over one more um, place, which means add one more zero. So I'd wind up with ten thousand decimeters. Next one would be, of course, a hundred thousand. And this would be centimeters. so on and so forth. Let's take a look at a value that starts as a decimal. So we have 4.5 and this is decimeters, 4.5 decimeters. I want to find out how many millimeters that is. Well actually let's go in the opposite direction. Let's find out how many hectometers that is. So we're going to move this way. We're going to move to the left. And I'm going to hop over how many places? One, two, three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 4.5 and move it over three places. So one uh, that would, and I'm going to fill in zero. So that's one place, 
two places, three places, put your decimal point, and that should wind up as um, point zero zero four five. And if you put a zero in front of here, of course, that would be correct. So 4.5 decimeters is equal to 0 0.0045 hec hectometers or hectometers. Last example, well, next to last, 1.27 kilometers. 1.27 kilometers is how many uh, decimeters, deci, okay, we're looking for this one right here, just past the meter right here. So I'm going to hop over one, two, three, four places. So I hop over two places, brings me to 127, and add two more zeros. So I wind up with 1, 2, 7, 0, 0, 12, which is really 12,700. Last example, 4,256 millimeters. I'm in the very last column here. And if I wanted to find out how many meters that would be, I would start with the decimal point, and I would make, what, three hops? So I go one, two, three. So that would turn out to be 4.256. 4.256 meters. Okay. And if I kept on going, the decimal point would continue, right? Next one to the left, one more hop. So that would be 0.4256. Decimeters or 0 0.24256. The, the, the metric system is really easy to manipulate once you understand and oh, once you remember King Henry doesn't mind discussing church matters. And remember that the, the bigger units are on the left. This one right here, these guys are, this kilometer is the largest unit and millimeter is very, very tiny. Okay, millimeter is the smaller unit, okay, as long as you write it that way. So moving within the metric system should be pretty straightforward.